Ed Solberg, and I'm one of Naira's blacksmiths. My father said I was a bum, <laughs> so this is the only trade I knew. Right now I'm going to bend the shoe for you, and the reason why we bend the shoe is basically, there's two basic reasons. One, it gives them more traction on the track, and number two, it keeps the horse from running down. Hi, I'm Michael Venus. I'm a blast with you at Naira. Uh, right now we're about to shoe a horse. We have the uh, driving hammer for nails, and the fitting hammer, and this is what we call a stall hammer. This is a, uh, a rasp that we use to make the, level, the foot level and flat. Over the years of working with trainers, you get uh, accustomed to each other, and we, you know, like we're in Thrick, I mean, we're about six, seven years, and we just, uh, you know, we've tried to choose, he knows what he likes, he knows what shoe he likes on what track, and uh, we just go from there. Blacksmith is, is, is ultimately important because of the way the horse hits the ground, and also in this day and age, we, we all know that the breed is getting weaker, um, if you will. And it's much, much more difficult to keep horses down. So having a good blacksmith, knowing the way that horse hits the ground, and knowing that the confirmations are all, every horse has different confirmations. So the, the blacksmith has to look at the horse, maybe look at their stride, maybe watch them go, and know that each individual horse may need a little bit different type of shoeing, different type of shoe, or maybe a different angle, or, or you know, a little, little more pitch, a little less. But um, having a blacksmith, that knows exactly what each individual horse needs. I think that's what's most important. The first day I started with him, he made me do everything. And I went and fell asleep on the way home. Oh, I can't do that, Dad. It's too much. Went to college, and a year later, I said, Dad, you know, school's not for me either. He said, well, I'll break you in right this time. Because you know, he was just trying to discourage him from being Uh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> when we fit the shoe, we're looking at this lamb in the line, and we want to try and get our nails, well, we definitely want to get our nails to the outside. This is the live tissue line. So we have our nail holes that were lined up so that when we drive our nails, they go through the dead tissue. No foot, no horse. So it's, uh, it's the most important thing, I think, you know. That and getting the horse fit and keeping them healthy and just uh, going from there. Queen's Plate is a uh, flat shoe originally designed for the grass. Um, now it's across the country, they are initiated that you use Queen's Plates in front to help take uh, trauma away from the horse's front legs, shins, ankles, knees. We just finished the uh, horse for the second race. It was great. Ready to go do two more.